So here we are. The second in this technique, you're not going to cut anything. The pivotal transfer technique. We're going to move this that um, the bus that first to the armhole using the pivotal transfer technique this time. We locate the new look, we find the new location, and then we draw a slash line from the bus point on the block and then onto the paper. We extend the dart leg, the, the dart leg further away from the new location onto the paper and then we trace the rest of the block trace the rest of the block which is stable what it means is that the movement will be within just the space and so you put any pointed item so you can use an owl or you can use a push pin if your paper, your table can take it my table cannot take a push pin so i'm going to just use my pencil I use my pencil, I put it in my bus point, and then I pick my block gently and spin it. And then close the dart, the bus dart. So this is the pivotal transfer technique. Pattern making plays a key role in the garment production process. Patterns bring to life designs and sketches produced by fashion designers. On this channel, I'll teach you the principles underlying all garment types and the techniques employed by pattern makers to achieve amazing and fabulous styles. Hi, my name is Na Abele and this is Patterns with Na. So I'll, I'll do, I'm going to work on a second project that is moving the waste dart into another location by using the same technique, by using the pivotal transfer technique. So let's do that. So as we did in our very first work, the work we did with the slash spread technique, we move the, the waste dart to the center from the corner of our waist. So let's do the same thing and then see how it pans out. So this time we are not touching our bus dart at all. We're just working on our waist dart and we are moving the waist dart to the center front, the waist, the corner. And so that's what we're doing now. So as I stated earlier in when I was manipulating the bus dart, you locate, you find the new location, this time is here, and then you draw a slash line from the pivotal point, which is our bust point in this instance. So our pivotal point here is the bust point. So we draw a slash line from the pivotal point, which is the bust point, all the way and then extend it onto the paper we extend it onto the paper the dart leg further away from this new location is this one so i'll say i'll just i'll just then label them this is a and this is b so that's leg a i'm going to extend that leg a onto the paper So it means that I'm going to put that leg B. I'll bring that leg B to join that leg A. And so all the movements will be within the space. The movements will be just within the space. And so the rest of the block will be stable. So we have to trace around that. So we quickly trace around the stable part of the block with all the markings. Remember, this time we're not moving the bus dart, so we have to draw around the bus dart. So we draw all the way to the first leg of the new dart. The very first leg of the new dart is where we draw up to. So let's let's ensure that we have all our markings in place. So the bus this is the bus dart. And 
and then underarm line and then Abbas line Good. so now we are going to close our waist that and then transfer it to the new location so we put I put my pencil in the pivotal point which is the bus point and then gently bring B to A to where the new the extension is that's it I just go back this is what I'm doing I put my pencil here in the pivotal in the pivotal point which is the bus point here then I'm going to bring that leg B on the waist that to be aligned with the extension I made from that leg A and then when I get here I extend this dart leg the slash line we do on the block will now extend it and that becomes the second dart leg of the new dart and when this is done, we just trace the remainder of the block. This is it. So you can just lift it and check. So you can see that we have everything. And then we finish off by tracing the remainder. So let's take this off and then see what we have. This is it. So we can see our buzz that. Our buzz that is where it's exactly here. That's it. All the markings are in place. That's it. So, and those are bus line. Right. And so, these are new that You can see from what we have here that the waist that is gone. The waist that is gone. We've closed it. And so, we extend this dart leg and now create the new dart. This is the new dart. The new the waste dart has now been transferred to this new location. And this is the pivotal transfer technique. The pivotal transfer technique. So I'll cut around it quickly. And then let's finish off. So this is it. And then we finish off. We finish this off like this. Cut along the trees. Yes, that's it. And then we just cut around. We are done. Quickly cut around your pattern. Yes. Yes. That's okay. Cut around the pattern quickly. That's it. So we have our pattern. If you remember what we did for um, when we're learning how to use the first technique, the slash spray technique, realize you got we had the same result. Mm -hmm. Just that with slash spread, we cut and then insert it. But with the pivotal transfer, there's no cutting at all. We just spin the block around from a pivotal point. And then close the dart and this is what we have so this is our waist dart and then this is our, our bath dart which has not been moved at all so i think i'll pin this up just one one of them for us to see what the finished work really looks like so i'm going to pin i think i'll tip the second one the transferred waist dart and then we'll see what it is, what it looks like on the dummy. This is it. So, this is paper, so, 
buttons and that is a wedge so definitely Time. It will not lie flat. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Here's it. Take the top down. So I'm going to take the bus dart as well. So that we get the effect. Mm -hmm. Get the true effect of what. So you can see the shape. It's shaping up nicely. Yes. It's shaping up nicely. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see. A little more. And then we are done. Yes. So we have this tip. So you can see the shape of it. Very beautiful. I held out, held up all the the darts. That's it. Beautifully. So you can see that. So here's our thumb. This is it. So I'm going to pin up the first project for you to see. So, this is the very first project. The very first project. So, <clears throat> turn it up quickly. You see. That's it. So this is the first project. So you can see the buzz that is no more. It's been moved to the armhole. But the waist that remains where it occurs naturally. Of course, this is on half view. So cut on the fold. You get it to spread to the other side. This is it. I hope you understand that. To see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the pivotal transfer technique and we did the single dart movement or single dart transfer and this is what we have. Thank you for staying with us all the way. We hope you really enjoyed it because I did. Thank you and please remember to give us a thumbs up if you are not here with us already and just, you know, came found us please definitely subscribe leave your comments below because they're very very important and share with us remember to click the notification bell so that all the videos we upload you get the notification for them thank you thank you 